recently started a, a program selling product on eBay and uh, most of what the product was is uh, parts and accessories that we didn't have a, a, a need for or were extras ordered a mistake uh, things of that nature so we decided to to come up with a, a, a way to try to get rid of them and uh, one of our college students that works here as an uh, intern in the summer said that you know we should try eBay and Craigslist. Um, Craigslist we didn't have as much luck with uh, but uh, eBay we ha have had good success in moving out the the old parts and uh, less common items seems to be people looking for the more obscure stuff in that regard. Uh, we've been able to, uh, you know, move multiple thousands of dollars since we've started that program. Our goal would be to expand the, the program if we can. Uh, we right now have brought on a, uh, a regular employee year-round, part-time, who has been listing uh, the items on our eBay site and answering all the, the phone calls and emails in that regard. Uh, so we, we do plan to expand it into maybe items that aren't just obsolete or, or non-returnable items and, and try to grow that business to some degree. Uh, we started the winter storage program uh, right about 19 uh, years ago, going on 20 years uh, with that program. Uh, it was developed uh, basically by customer suggestions that uh, people were looking for a place to, to go with their machinery over the winter so they could get it out of their way. And uh, also in the meantime, uh, it would be a good opportunity for us to provide uh, service and maintenance work to keep our mechanics busy during the winter. Um, it's, it's started off as just a handful of machines that we were able to store in uh, what was my parents' uh, former uh, dairy farm facility. With that, uh, we've since grown to the point where we have had to uh, rent another facility uh, for that. But uh, we've had uh, very good luck due to the fact that most of the people in the area we live in live in communities where the uh, subdivisions may have uh, architectural controls or, or uh, uh, codes that don't allow people to have outbuildings, uh, don't allow them to have uh, more than two or three car garages, uh, that sort of thing. So with that, we found that there has been a very strong uh, demand for a program like that due to the, the nature of those communities. Um, in the communities where those issues aren't as prevalent, we don't do uh, as, as much of the winter storage in those areas. But in the uh, areas where that is a, 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 a thing or a problem for those people, we do uh, very well with that. Uh, we also find that the Customers tend to be very loyal. Uh, we probably are in the 60, 70 percent um, loyalty range where most people come back year after year. And uh, lastly, is it seems to be our best customers. It seems to be the type of customer that cares about their machine. And uh, if we find extra work that needs to be done, rarely do we have people deny the extra work that may uh, be required at that point in time. Yes, yeah, so, uh, with the storage, we do not just store a machine. The only way we store it is if we are doing uh, basic annual maintenance uh, to the machine. Uh, the pricing uh, of $349 includes the uh, pickup delivery, the storage charge, uh, parts and labor to give an annual maintenance. Uh, if we find beyond that, uh, the customer is called in our normal estimate uh, manner or fashion to get approval to have the extra work done. Depending on how the calendar uh, works out and the weather, uh, we start taking reservations due to the limited space that we have. We start taking reservations uh, at Labor Day. Uh, with that, most of the machines are typically picked up between the end of October and the end of November, uh, unless the, the weather varies. This year, we ran very late in our, in our pickups. We were picking up most of the machines in the late November to mid-December range. And um, with that, when we advertise for that program, 
we're fortunate to have some advertisers that work with us to uh, play last minute and, and we don't run the advertising until we feel the weather has shifted to, to the point where people won't be using their equipment anymore. At this point in time, we feel that uh, the coming season, 2017, uh, in, in this market, in our basically metropolitan Milwaukee area, uh, does appear to be very strong. Uh, home sales have uh, been, uh, the activity there has been quite active. Uh, when people buy and sell houses, that's uh, the opportunity for us to, to sell equipment. Um, it seems like the weather pattern has provided enough moisture. Um, I would expect that we are going to have a, a quite strong uh, season so far. Our, this coming spring, I feel we will have a strong season, uh, at least till we get to the point of, of June or so. But as long as we continue to get the moisture, I, I see that we could have a very strong year overall and, and uh, no reason for things to slow down.